So let me tell you a story. I had always been a skinny kid and that was one of my biggest insecurities growing up because people around me used to joke about it all the time saying that I looked like a stick or like a skeleton. Back in 2018 my body used to look like this. Yep, no muscle, no anything, just like bones, but I had enough. And at the beginning of 2018, I challenged myself in order to make my physique look the best it has ever looked. And I achieved uh, pretty good results, you know? And this was the physique I achieved by the end of 2018. I was so happy with myself because that has been the best I have ever looked. And I didn't just have muscle gains, I also had some pretty noticeable strength gains. I was feeling the best I have ever felt with my body and I didn't even think about quitting but then quarantine happened. At the beginning I didn't even thought about training at home because I just thought that I will be back in the gym in just 15 days but well everyone knows that I didn't go to the gym 50 days afterwards so I started working out at home and yeah it got it was good yep maybe I'm not saying that training at home is bad by any means if you haven't worked out in your life and you start working out at home that's pretty good I congratulate you that's amazing but when you have gone to the gym on a pretty regular basis where it becomes your second home and now you have to stay here and make all your exercises with body weight it just hits different you know it hits different but even then I worked out pretty consistently I worked out four times a week if I'm not wrong I was doing my workouts all right uh, I was going to failure and all of that stuff but the thing that basically killed my gains was my improper nutrition I wasn't eating junk food or anything like that I, I really don't enjoy it I like, like the healthy food it's just that I haven't consumed the right amounts I was basically in a calorie deficit trying to put on muscle for a skinny guy and that basically will never work then uh, in December I had a struggle and I basically was working out but it was pretty mediocre I didn't went to failure I didn't you know have the same intensity as I had before I just was going through the motions as they say I really wasn't paying that much attention and well those mediocre workouts combined with the caloric deficit led me to where I was so in the footage that you're watching right now my measurements were 190 centimeters of height and 54 kilos of weight I checked my body mass index or BMI and I was underweight pretty bad but with the same determination that I had back in 2018 I decided to go 110% on my bulking journey I decided to do my research and pay close attention to my workouts to really make sure that I'm breaking those muscle fibers but most importantly even more important than my workouts was my diet my nutrition I went online I did my research and I ended up with a diet of 3200 calories yeah it is a pretty high amount but I really need those calories in order to make gains and with that said Here's my 30 day body transformation. Okay, as many reps as possible. Let's go. Proper form.
push-ups. Not bad, but I was expecting more. What's up guys? Day 2, 6 a.m. in the morning and today is a workout day. Today I'm not feeling very well, uh, my stomach is hurting a little bit, it's not like super uncomfortable like oh my god I'm about to explode, no but it is definitely annoying. I have two theories on why this could be happening, number one is the caloric surplus, maybe my body is like getting used to the caloric surplus and all of that and my stomach is growing bigger, I don't know. My second theory and the one that I suspect the most about is because of the consumption of creatine. If you didn't know, the consumption of creatine could have a side effect and that is the same effect that happens after a meal on Taco Bell. You know what type of effect I'm talking about? But if that is the case for me, the fix is really quick, really simple. All I need to do is drink more water, stay hydrated, and that's it. So, let's keep on bulking. Definitely the most important part about bulking is your nutrition. And throughout this journey, I have discovered some pretty good recipes. If you want to know about them, just let me know in the comment section, and I will plan future videos talking about this. With that said, let's go back to the body transformation. Hey guys, so as you saw right now, I just weighed myself and I gained 3 kilos in one week. That's amazing. That was way more than I was expecting because I was expecting to gain 25 kilograms per week. That way I could get to the mark of 60 kilos, but gaining 3 kilos in one week, I mean, that's bueno. That's bueno and I won't, I won't say no to that. Also, I'm feeling recovered from the stomach pain that I had recently. Uh, I'm feeling pretty good right now, so we got that problem out of the way. And now, let's keep on walking. But then, I started college. I was scared at the beginning because I thought that this could limit my time management and therefore I couldn't work out as consistently as I wanted to. Spoiler alert, it didn't mess up with me and I was pretty consistent. to do a very demanding back workout. I suck at doing intro, so let's just hop right into it. It is hard to know my exact weight because I don't have a digital scale. However, by looking at the photos and with help of my mom, I got to see that right now my weight is 59. And oh my god, this is this is kind of easier than I thought because it means that by looking at the stats, I should be 60 kilos by the other week, so so that's bueno, that's nice. Yeah, nothing else to say other than if I hit 60 kilos the other week, I think I might adjust the goals in order to, well, keep this challenge challenging. And let's see how I do. Hi guys, so I just finished my workout today and look at what happened with my hand. Yep, that is, that is not bueno. that I'm going to do is going to redo the goals 
in order to keep the challenge challenging. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do right now. Okay, 62 kilos, that's insane. Uh, and, I, and I'm seeing <laughs> some pretty good results. I have seen myself at the mirror and have seen some good muscle growth in my chest, in my shoulders. Uh, that's pretty bueno. So I'm going to get dressed up and we're going to do a strength test. Okay, I already got dressed up and now we're going to do the push-ups, max amount of push-ups. I'm not expecting really to increase that much since, well, I am 8 kilograms heavier so the exercise will be more difficult and around 32-35 reps I will be happy, I will, I will say that that's okay. Let's go. Proper form. Yeah, that really, that really was tiring, uh, but 35 is a pretty good number um, since, well, I explained already, the exercise is more difficult, but yeah, it's a good progress, it's a good progress, 5 more reps in 30 days, good progress. Hey, before I show you the body transformation, I have something really important to tell you, so please, please, don't skip this part of the video. The process of recording and editing these videos is really tedious and I put a lot of effort into it. I have put a lot, I mean a lot of effort into editing this video. So if you really want to support all the effort I have made, why don't you just give it a like, subscribe, comment down below. I know this sounds pretty cliche, every other YouTuber says that, but you really help me out enormously when you do this kind of stuff. So please, please consider these kind of things. You will really help me out. And with that said, let's check the body transformation in 10 days.